in the morning, in the evening, or sometime in between. I hope that you will see some Lexi on your screen. Subscribe! How does perfection feel, darling? I'm Young Chickens! Welcome back! So, throughout my life, people have always come to me for life advice. I don't really know why, but it might be because of my killer intuition. So today, I want to teach you how to have intuition just like me. These are my five best tips about how to have intuition with people. Number one is observation. Guys, I naturally observe people all the time, and you can find out a lot. Okay. Here's something to always remember. The way that people treat others is often exactly how they're going to treat you. People's behavior is pretty consistent. I know you only want to observe how somebody treats you, but you really need to be observing how they treat everyone else. For instance, if John is acting a fool with Kathy, John's gonna act a fool with you. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but John's crazy and you need to stay away from John. Number two, I think first impressions are super important. I don't think they're overrated. Some people will make that argument, but I tend to think that the way I see people the first time is how they really are. Like I said, people's behavior patterns are cyclical. It's really hard to change someone. Therefore, the first impression often tells you a lot of what you need to know. You can choose not to judge people on first impressions, and that's okay. That's all right. You even might have more fun in life, but you probably will have more regrets too. Number three, words mean something. Guys, I can't even tell you how many times in my life I've met somebody and they tell me who they are at that moment the first time I meet them. They'll say, oh my God, I'm so crazy. Or they'll just say, I'm a wild card. Or they'll be like, I'm a bit of a man You know what I'm saying? And you can rely on that information. It's just like what Maya Angelou said, when somebody tells you who they are, you gotta believe them, bud, okay? Now sometimes when you become really important to someone, they'll try to hide these parts of themselves, but you gotta remember what they said to you the first time they met you, okay? They told you everything you needed to know right on the first try. Number four, if your words mean something, then your actions mean even more. Look at people's actions. There are a lot of people out here, they talk a good game, but their actions if you study their actions, you'll find out exactly what their intentions are towards you. Listen, one time I had a boyfriend and he kept saying, I'm so serious about you, I really like you. But I kept looking at his actions and my little antenna was like, I don't know about this. And guess what? He wasn't serious. How many people can relate? Don't just believe what somebody says to you. You also have to watch their actions. You're seeing it with your own eyes. That's part of trusting yourself. My last tip is to stay away from people who have chaos around them. Some people like to pretend like, oh my God, I don't know why this always happens to me. I mean, I have so much trouble with my friends. Why can't I choose the right friends? And say, oh my God, I have so much trouble at work. I don't know why they don't respect me. Or they'll say, I have so much problem in my relationships. Everything is just chaos. And for a minute, you believe them. For a minute, you're drawn in. You say, how can they do that to Susie? Susie's so great. Most of the time, it's all about Susie. Susie is the common denominator. And I'm sorry if you're a Susie. You gotta dig in and do the work and find out why you are attracting all of those things. Maybe you're addicted to the drama. Maybe you're restless. Maybe the little kid inside you needed it. But I'm just saying, you probably don't wanna be next to Susie. Susie's gonna kick your life, okay? So, those are my five tips about how to have great intuition about people. I hope that it really helped you. Warning, sometimes you want to believe something else about a person, but if it goes against these five tips, don't do it, buddy. Don't talk yourself into it when you already know, deep down inside, the observation, the words, the actions, the first impressions, the chaos around. It's already telling you the full story. Don't lie to yourself, baby. 
So listen, I'm doing all of these things semi-automatically. I actually had to really think about what I do every time I'm evaluating people. And then I came up with these five steps. My judgment about people is about 80% if I'm being modest and about 90 to 95% if I'm being honest. I mean, I gotta be real with you guys. When I am wrong about somebody, I'm surprised. It, it shakes me a little. So <laughs> I think that you can use these tips, you know, if you struggle. I'm actually a Myers-Briggs INFJ, so it would be interesting down in the comments. If you're an INFJ, let me know. Can you also sniff people from a mile off? I hope you like this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And by the way, last time I checked, we are only 10 subscribers away from 100. I'd like to make it by Christmas. So if you know somebody who likes this content or if you watch my content but you're not subscribed, subscribe, baby. And I'll see you next week. I'm Young Chicken. Take a little bit of me, 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 and a little bit of you, you, you. And together we can make the world into something.